What's up, Southern foodies? Welcome to Chash Travels, a channel where my wife and I search for the best food and the coolest places to visit throughout the southern states. This week's episode takes us to Chattanooga, Tennessee, to the banks of the Tennessee River to visit the Boathouse. The Boathouse is a long-standing Chattanooga tradition for neighborhood camaraderie and is a choice destination for the best of riverfront dining located in the heart of Chattanooga's stylish river walk. So we had a seat uh, outside and we observed the stunning view of the river. Beautiful. We looked over the menu. The smell of the kitchen's wood-fired grill added uh, a lot to the outdoor atmosphere. We decided to go with an appetizer of wood-grilled oysters Rockefeller. Uh, we thought they were really good, uh, but would have preferred that they spend a little more time on the grill. If you look, the cheese didn't appear to be melted all the way, and they weren't quite as hot as we normally like them. Typically, I like to see these come out sizzling. We ordered our entrees. Uh, Laura decided to go with the wood-grilled salmon, cooked medium. That came with the ginger sauce and a hot chili pepper dipping sauce. I went with the wood spit roasted half chicken with margarita sauce and fire roasted salsa. Laura's salmon was cooked to perfection. Moist on the inside with a great sear on the outside. Uh, she said it was full of flavor. Uh, she also says that she's been dreaming of this dish since she had it. It was so good. She definitely preferred the hot chili pepper sauce to the ginger sauce. Just really great. My spit roasted chicken was delicious with crispy skin bursting with flavor and a really tender juicy inside. Paired with that margarita sauce and the salsa, uh, there was an explosion of flavor each time you took a bite. No wonder this is their signature dish. Lastly, we ordered the key lime pie. This is probably my favorite dessert pretty much anywhere. If I see key lime pie on the menu, I order it. Uh, I really like this one because it wasn't overly sweet. Uh, there's also a really great crust to it, so if you like key lime pie, you need to order that if you check out the boathouse. Overall, I'm going to have to give this restaurant a big thumbs up for location and ambiance. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful place to eat. We really wanted to come back and visit the restaurant at night uh, because we saw lights strung up everywhere and I bet it's really beautiful when it's lit up. Excellent food and prompt service make this a must try when in the Chattanooga area. So have you visited the boathouse in Chattanooga, Tennessee? If so, how was your experience? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for joining us here on Chash Travels. If you like this content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more great Southern food reviews. And remember, you don't need a silver fork to enjoy great food. I'll see you next time.